was then the Danish West Indies, in 1733 on November 23rd, led by a woman, Queen Brethun. There was an African revolution on the Isle of St. John, what we now call St. John. And that African revolution led by first generation Africans coming on that enslavement trafficking, not trade, that enslavement trafficking journey, right? Those women and those men, some of them from royal stock and warriors in their own rights, coming from Central, South, as well as West Africa, we need to make sure we get the history clear, led a revolution that kept the Isle of St. John at one of its heights of colonization as a free African island nation intended for more than seven months from November 23rd, 1733, until May 24th, 1734. So we have a legislative policy, proclamation to some, but legislation has been in place for decades as November 23rd is marked as Virgin Islands Freedom Fighters Day. So we wanna just take a moment to just give honor to those ancestors, those great heroes, sheroes, and when we keep it moving on an international level, from very humble yet powerful beginnings in of all islands, the Dominican Republic, four women and many men as well, but the Mirabel sisters, if you don't know about them, Google Mirabel sisters of the Dominican Republic. And these women were fighting for the human rights of people in the Dominican Republic and Haiti in the 1950s against a very brutal dictator that people just refer to as Trujillo, the dictator. And in 1916, on November 25th, those women were not only dragged out of their transport, going to visit their husbands, two of their husbands rather, uh, two of the sisters' husbands, they were in prison for supporting human rights for the people of the Isle, of the Republica Dominicana, as well as Haiti, the entire island. And these women were dragged out of their vehicles, beaten to death, put back in the vehicle and tossed over to make it look like it was an accidental cause of death. And because of that, the people in the Dominican Republic rose up and ultimately that was led to the execution, assassination to some of this dictator, very brutal. And on November 25th, the, it is now designated since the 90s as the United Nations International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. So when you see that hashtag, no excuse, think about November 25th, 1916, but just in general, let us honor and observe this international day for the elimination of violence against women anywhere on earth. So with that, again, I thank you, Sister Queen, Stormy, I feel like we got a lot completed and we're right on the top of our hour. I want to thank everyone that's tuned in, listened again, Travel Global 365 at Gmail. If you want to know more about the business, uh, speaks, A S T S P E A K S at gmail.com. If you'd like to join us, tune in if you have ideas for the broadcast, because what we focus on is that we know that culture heals humanity. Land is our foundation and spiritual harmony unifies us. So just keep doing your part whenever you hear us speaks, because that means that you're a part of building legacy. And with that, I say a blessed evening. I'm really grateful and let's keep moving our purpose forward. <laughs> Bye.
guys. Freedom. Just make sure that 